I hope you guys are going to stay. For those of you who don't know about this book and want to read it or have it on your TBR, just be prepared because. Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yashita and I make content regarding books. So if you're interested in reading or if you want to get into reading, then this might be the channel for you to subscribe. All right, let's talk about today's video because it is a very exciting book haul and we're going to do some reading. So I recently went to a book fair, which I have uploaded the short video. If you haven't checked it out, then make sure you watch it. But I got some books, which by some I mean 13 books and my brother got two because we went together and we got some bookmarks and Polaroids as well. He got two non-fic books, which are self-explanatory. So I'll just name them, but my books I'm going to show you with all the love that I have for books <laughs> so i hope you guys are excited and then we are going to do some reading as well uh, in which i'll be reading a book from those 13 books so i'm really excited so let's get on with today's video first of all let me show you the box i got because it is huge <laughs> it doesn't look so big but it is very heavy and filled with books um there's a quote written here which i really like i know you can see it upside down because i don't know why they packed the book the wrong way but it says i have always imagined that paradise will be a kind of library which me too girl <laughs> i just love books so much a while ago when i stopped posting the videos i was just not as interested in books as i was but after this whole month has passed i'm really getting into it again and i'm so happy because i have all of these books which i haven't even read and if i lose my interest now then it's going to be all for nothing which i think it is just a phase that comes into everybody's life so let's not think about that and you know if you want some time away from reading then that's okay as well because you are gonna love it so much more when you get in back into it again i promise because it has happened with me so many times and i think this is final i am not gonna love reading as much now but it always goes away i just needed some time for myself and I don't know why I'm telling you guys this and boring you with all the details. Let's get started with the book haul. Okay. No, first of all, let me show you the book. So I got two Polaroids and two bookmarks, which the Polaroids are both from Harry Potter. One is Harry Potter one and the other is Draco one because I love them so much. This one I just knew I wanted to get and this one, this is so cute. I don't know where I'm going to use them because I already have a phone case that I love so much. But if you have any ideas, then let me know because I don't know. <laughs> I am reading Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and maybe I can use them as bookmarks or something but other than that i don't have any use for them but the two bookmarks i got are this one which looks like it came out of an anime and i really like this one and second one is read dream repeat which basically summarizes what i do all day so i really liked it and yeah these are so cute and i'm so excited to use them in my books Let now let's talk about all the books i got one by one i'm gonna pick them up from this box so first of all is the secret garden by francis all i know is it is about the secret garden and this book especially has some pictures from the movie cast and all that so i was really intrigued although it is black and white but i really like it so much i'm not sure what this is about and this is super long which i'm gonna read when i read this book which is in this video i when i went through all of these books i knew that i had to read this one first because it is so short and cute i hope it is as good as i have imagined in my mind so yeah this one was the first book that i got next book is another short book which is from the lion the witch and the wardrobe from chronicles of narnia okay this is uh, about a particular character which they have four parts but i just caught this one of peter's destiny the battle for narnia and i haven't read the chronicles of narnia but it's on my tbr i already have an edition that i want to get so i'm gonna get to it super soon the chronicles of narnia i have watched one or two movies but it's been so long so i don't remember much but i got it because it was such a short book and i thought i might need it when i 
will read the series of so yeah this one was the second book i got we are slowly moving towards the bigger books all right let's talk about something popular for once <laughs> which you already would know about the kite runner by khalid husseini and this one is if you don't know it's a book that's going to make you cry so i'm going to patiently wait for the time when i want to read this book this was such a good copy and i just had to get it because i have been wanting to read this book for so long now along with a book you have reached sam these two books are on my read for when you want to cry list so i'm really excited about this book as well and also i didn't tell you guys what this book was about so in this i think there are two best friends or two brothers which have a really powerful bond but because of something one of them does they kind of separate and it's about their grief that's all i know i haven't read anything but i have come across this book so much that i know something some little things let's read the back of it because i don't want to misguide you because i'm not too sure what this book is about so it's 12 year old amir is desperate to gain the approval of his father and resolves to win the local kite fighting tournament to prove that he has the makings of a man his loyal friend hasan promises to help him for he always helps amir but this is 1970s afghanistan and hasan is merely a low caste servant who is jeered at in the street although amir feels jealous of his natural courage and the place he holds in his father's heart but neither of the boys could foresee what would happen to hasan on the afternoon of the tournament which was to shatter their lives after the russians invade and the family is forced to flee to america amir realizes that one day he must return to find the one thing that his new world cannot grant him redemption so i think amir messed up and this already sounds so sad it is actually a very emotional book so i'm going to read it at the time when i don't feel already sad but one of the quote by a reader says unforgettable and extraordinary it is so powerful that for a long time after everything i read seemed planned which i know the feeling i'm so excited to read this book let me put them nicely next book is a special edition or whatever you call a sprayed edged book because i when i saw this book i had to get it originally i thought i would read it on kindle because it is on ku but guess i had to have the physical copy so this is basically a book which is getting so much hype these days it is amari and the night brothers by b b alston and i don't know what it's about so amari peters knows three things Her brother Quinton has gone missing. No one will talk about it. His mysterious job holds a clue. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is just so so gripping, you know? These three lines have pulled me in like let's read the whole thing shall we? But then a strange invitation arrives. Amari has the chance to join the magical bureau of supernatural affairs competing Oh my god I have lost the ability to read okay amari has a chance to join the magical bureau of supernatural affairs completing missions in a world where mermaids aliens and magicians are real and her roommate is a were were dragon what is a were dragon secrets and surprises await amari as she discovers her own rare and dangerous magical power and soon she realizes that the bureau could hold the there's this sticker but i think it says holds the key to finding her brother all she has to do is pass three tryouts so i'm so excited i don't like the matte feeling of this book but inside there are some illustrations inside this book which i'm really excited about which makes me want to read this book sooner than later and i am just so excited i don't i'm not a fan of this cover or the silver theme but this just makes up for it <laughs> okay let's talk about another book which is basically based on a show i watched and i was so obsessed with the show 
and it is the letter for the king i binge watched that show it hadn't got enough attention so netflix basically didn't come up with another season but it is a part of a series this is the first book by tonke dragon the letter for the king and although i didn't want this edition of the book but the condition of this book was so good and now i'm noticing there are some illustrations in this as well which makes me want to grab a book as soon as i can because i love them so much i'm just surprised and <laughs> so happy that i got this edition now the edition i wanted was the movie tie in but I'm happy with this one now that I've seen all the illustrations and everything and I'm so excited. I already know the story and who's going to betray who, but the book is always so different from the show or movies and also I don't remember the characters names. I think it's been 2 years that I watched it, but Netflix does this really bad job of not putting up more episodes for shows that people love so much. I know the ratio is much less and people also bashed this TV show, but I loved it and I just binge watched it. So I can't say that for me. I loved it and I would have wanted to watch I had waited for so long because they already announced there's going to be a season 2 but then it never came and yeah that was the end sad ending of my love for this <laughs> TV show but now that I've got the book I have to read it sometime and I'm so happy that the font isn't too small because in these kinds of books the hard paperbacks the the font is very small a lot of the times and I have seen so many new books as well with so much smaller font. I don't know. Are people's eyes going bigger because why do you need to get the font so much smaller? Even in hardcover books there's not much difference than paperbacks, which I hate, but let's move on because I am now talking so much. Okay. Now I've got a book that looks super pretty. I checked the reviews people also enjoyed this book because i wanted to get it there was no reason to not get this book and it is a christmas book which is the christmas carols or how do you say this by mel taylor besant don't you just love this cover it is just cherry on top that it has illustrations as well let me show you some Okay first of all this book belongs to page is so cute and there are so many illustrations in this book and i was just drawn to this book and wanted to get it i checked the reviews people love it i hope i do too so it's basically about a girl who is just obsessed with christmas obsessed with cheeriness and fairy lights and carol singing So when she has to move house in her new school everyone is looking at her weirdly because of her santa backpack uh, everyone just thinks like she is a weirdo there's a sticker let me remove it i hope i can okay so it says is the world's most christmasy girl about to lose her christmas spirit oh no i just hope for the best and i'm so excited i hope everyone just enjoys christmas with her at last and everyone is just happy and singing and yeah i just love this so much and even the family is participating even just looking at this book and this family is making me so cheery all of a sudden it says on the back people have commented a feast of festive fun and utter delight i am so excited to read this book i'm so excited even the spine is so beautiful it looks like fantastic piece i love this book color cover everything about it even if i hate the story i'm going to keep this book if you didn't know so next books i'm going to talk about are a whole series which i don't even have to explain you guys why i got these books because you already know by now and i am the last person that's going to read this series but it's by rick riordan and let's show you the books shall we percy jackson series i know the editions are different so don't come at me for that but i found them all in good shape so can't really complain 
Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. I always thought these books are not going to be so heavy. This one is so much thicker than I imagined. I really like the cover. I don't know much about these books, but I just know people love them so much and I am tired of seeing their short videos on YouTube. I am just so sick of not knowing anything about the series. So I had to get them. I uh, They were also Heroes of Olympus series from Rick Riordan, but I have heard that people comparatively like that series lesser than this one. So I thought I'm gonna dip my toes into the Rick Riordan universe and get the Percy Jackson series first. So this one is the first book, which is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. If next is Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters. This one is much lighter. And this one is Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse. Pretty impressive cover. Percy Jackson and the Battle of Labyrinth which is the worst book I got but I just wanted my set complete so I got it anyway and this one is the last book Percy Jackson and the last Olympian which I don't like the cover so much but okay I'm reading I was reading the back <laughs> I shouldn't because this is the last book in the series what am I doing okay there are only two books left so I'm gonna be quick about them Another book I got is from the Percy Jackson universe as well. I don't know when to read this book, but when I looked it up, it was a companion book for the series. So I don't know whether I should read it before or after. So if you guys know, then let me know when to read this book. It is Percy Jackson, The Demigod Files. So yeah, this one was another book. The last book is left, which is History Hunters, Chandragupta Maurya and the Greek Onslaught. This is a short middle grade book, which I think is going to be funny and is going to have some moral too. So I'm really excited to read this. I'm going to pick it up whenever I do a readathon or something or just in general. I'm so excited for these books. I didn't know this one has illustrations as well. Oh my God. This is such a surprise to me. I don't look into books that much. And then I'm just surprised they have illustrations. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. I don't even know if it is a part of a series, but I saw the title and I got it. So yeah, this was the book haul. Let me hold the books for you one, just for seeing how long the stack has got. So these are all the books I got and I'm so excited to read them. I hope you guys are going to stay with me on this journey where I just get through these over the years and have fun reading. So yeah, let's get on to the reading portion of this video. So as I said, I'll be reading this book and let's read the back of it then i'm gonna start it and let you guys know my thoughts throughout this video so it says when mary lennox was sent to miss Elthwaite manor to live with her uncle everybody said she was the most disagreeable looking child ever seen so begins one of the best loved children's story in the world the tale of the lonely little girl orphaned and sent to a yorkshire mansion at the edge of a vast lonely moor is a story that touches on the feelings of children everywhere mary's initial fear of this gloomy place is finally overcome by what she calls magic the mystery of life itself, its birth and renewal, its love and joy. Focusing on Mary and her relationship with the sturdy local boy Dickon, who earns the trust of the even the Moors wild animals with his honesty and love and the invalid Colin, the spoiled unhappy boy, rejected by his father and terrified of life, the secret garden opens the door not only into a real hidden garden but into the innermost places of the heart. It is a truly classic work that has left generations of readers with warm lifelong memories of its very special charms a blend of power beauty vivid interest and honest goodness yes if this is magic it is good magic i'm so excited this is just so heart touching i am so excited to get gripped by this book because it is counted as a classic and i enjoy them to say the least so let's get to reading this book
a good kid it's obvious it's because of how her upbringing is done but still like she's not good it is the next day i know i keep changing the location of my chair but my room is too tiny so i have to do what i have to do anyways the one thing i wanted to talk to you about was that i have been reading this book and i'm reading it much quicker along with the audiobook that i found out on my phone it's on youtube there are several but i like this particular one best because it is a female narrators and also because the voice is quite clear than most so that's what i've been doing i've been reading this book and it is quite engaging too at first i was like no why did i even get this book but now i'm like actually interested in knowing what's going to happen in the story which i didn't tell you guys what this book was about it's about a young girl who is very self obsessed and arrogant and mean but now there's no one left of her family to give her that attention that she wants but there's an uncle who she's going to live with now who is quite secluded in himself because of some things that happened in his life so we're going to see how that goes for her and how she's going to change how she's going to find the secret garden or what the deal is with this mansion of the uncle with hundreds of rooms but they are mostly locked so it's quite mysterious and yet this story is quite interesting as in i am so interested to see how this character actually transforms into a good nice sweet girl instead of a bitter one and also for her uncle too this book is so cute and tiny so i am like holding it in my hands and actually enjoying the feel of a book i never thought that i would like holding a small little book like this those are my only thoughts and there are some 280 pages in this book and i am around 30 this was led up a broad staircase and down a long corridor and up a short flight this guy is actually more bitter than i imagined he is i am on chapter 4 now Shire accent and also Martha is a very nice character, nice addition to this book, and yeah, I am having so much fun reading it. I have an update on the Secret Garden. I have read one thirty six pages of this book. Most of it I read on Friday. Today is Sunday, but yesterday was tiring to say the least. So let's. talk about my thoughts some of the things that i don't like first of all racism which is so prominent in this book that it sucks and we hate it and secondly there's a whole bashing of the country i live in just because our main character's mother wasn't an ideal mother i don't see the point of it really if there was a valid reason for her hatred of india so much I don't know but like this book was not fun in that case now some of the things that I did like first of all I love the new characters especially I love Martha and Dickin Martha is uh, the one who is attending to I mean character Mary which she is so talkative but i love to hear her chatter as mary does and also martha's mother is so motherly and caring and sweet and also there is a paragraph that i like let's read it to you guys it's on page 101 okay so here it is there is not as nice as the smell of good clean earth except the smell of fresh growing things when the rain falls on them I get out on the moor many a times when it's raining and I lie under the bush and listen to the soft swish of drops on the heather as I just sniff and sniff. I really liked it. The imagery in that is just so beautiful like I can imagine and feel the essence of this description which is so nice. So let's now talk about this book all over. It is actually supposed to be a children's classic which I think there are a lot of things that don't sit right with me and they are not appropriate even in general much less for children. There is also a character who is 
just a child and yet he has such dull thoughts regarding living and everything so it is quite not a happy book and he acts like mary was in the beginning so annoying but much worse and much dull so i'm not enjoying reading his part but i think he is gonna work out fine in the end but still like i have my own issues with this book even though i'm enjoying the writing style and everything but whenever uh, there is something that just doesn't feel right comes into this book it takes away from the story and i'm not in it anymore and i'm thinking like why did i even pick this book but otherwise secret garden aspect is really nice like i still can't imagine a great beautiful garden because it isn't so right now but there will be so i have hope for this book to get even more beautiful and poetic and you know descriptive about the garden and all so i'm really liking uh, the stages of the secret garden being rediscovered and worked upon and these are the only thoughts i have i have mixed feelings but i have hope for this book but some of the things are just not appropriate for children so i would not recommend them to read it anyways let's get to reading and finish the stamp book This is so beautifully written that I have to share it with you guys. So our dull character says, Does he like the more he's talking about Dickens? How can he when it's such a great bear dreary place? It's the most beautiful place, protested Mary. Thousands of lovely things grow on it and there are thousands of little creatures all busy building nests and making holes and burrows and chippering or singing or squeaking to each other. They are so busy having such fun under the earth or in the trees or heather. It's their world. So Colin says, how do you know all this? I have never been there once really. I only drove over it in the dark. I thought it was hideous. Martha told me about it first and then Dickon. When Dickon talks about it, you feel as if you saw things and heard them and as if you were standing in the heather with the sun shining and the gorse smelling like honey and all full of bees and butterflies. Hey, so I wanted to update you guys on this book that I was reading earlier. I'm not going to talk about it in any of the videos. So here are my thoughts because I want to talk about this. Uh, so last night I was so interested in this book that I didn't sleep till 2 o'clock. I was so invested in the story, the mystery part and everything, the darkness. But this morning when I woke up and started reading this book again, josh acted so out of character and i already didn't like both of them like the chemistry wasn't there from the starting uh, after 50 percent of it i did start to like this book but i was having mixed feelings till that point so i was not convinced that they are perfect for each other or they are made to be i just felt it was a forced relationship from the very beginning but then after 50 percent mark it did got interesting and last night i was just so into the book all the things that went down with max and all of you have read this book but otherwise the thing that josh did like i don't know why people are ignoring this and rating it a five star or thinking josh is a perfect book boyfriend because what he did was out of revenge and there was nothing right about it for those of you who don't know about this book and want to read it or have it on your tbr just be prepared because he did something non-consensual with the love of his life and that was so bad like how can you even call it acceptable and move past it there is no like there was no difference between it ends with us and this book right here in regarding to what happened like it was not domestic violence but it was violence nonetheless and i don't know like jules was Jules did whatever she did out of desperation and Josh did it out of revenge so I think that was so bad and I just I'm reading this book I'm still like trying to finish it because only 70-80 pages are left for me so I might as well finish this book and give it a proper rating although I can't move past this thing that happened and nothing you can do can make 
you a good book boyfriend in my opinion so i just think this is going to be a one or two star book for the effort that anna huang did to write this but it was shitty as hell you didn't have to do that and i don't agree with it if people are rating this book a five stars then they have serious problem because they don't see a problem with this guy and what he did i get it rage is fine but taking it out like that was not and it will never be so i just wanted to talk about this because a lot of people have addressed it in the reviews but still like i want to put it out there that i did not like this book because i made a short video regarding a quote that i really like from this book but other than that there is like that was not my review or anything so i just want to tell you guys that this is my opinion on this book i have liked previous two books so much and that reason the out of characterness of josh makes me like alex more because he is who he is and he is so real with eva and how caring he is he is my perfect book boyfriend even rice i love so much but this is probably going to be the first book i read in the series i still have to read twisted lies but still these are my thoughts Hey guys ignore my appearance because I've been reading non-stop from the morning and I just wanted to conclude this video and I have my notes open here because I wrote down all of my thoughts Colin's dull character improved so much his way of talking became so funny although offensive at times because he was like behaving like a king ordering people around but it was funny to read and not very offensive because coming from a child like everyone just excused it and was laughing at the manner he was talking so that is something that improved the story and the other thing is the bonding between the children which i loved reading about and secondly the lesson of the story is so profound if you don't believe in the power of words you are going to if you read this book because there's no other option so that were the things that i really like now coming to the cons or things that could be better in my opinion which are quite serious so i don't know let's talk about them so i will say that the last 30% of this book the pace picked up otherwise it was medium not a very slow but it picked up later and it flew by i don't know why i wrote it in a con but that is something i wanted to tell you guys too and also i loved the ending trust me but i wish things could have been better soon and we could have seen the mended relationship more and also about that the reason the relationship got mended kind of hinted towards albism which could have been because of anything but i think it was intentional here because all disabilities are not fixable obviously so that is one thing i didn't like also i will warn you for the use of the word queer again and again like I don't know why these kids use it so much and it doesn't even make sense. All in all I really liked this book. It was super good in terms of character growth and nature description which I loved reading about. But the issues were there and they were very real. So being a critical book reader, I rated this book a 3.5 stars, which I think is okay if you like a book and still have some problems with it. And also about that, the other day I saw that there was a version of this book which is edited of all of these things that bother people and now I can't seem to find it so if you guys know about that then do let me know because i would love to read this book again with a fresh perspective and also recommend it to people so if you guys know then let me know and other than that i wanted to update you on twisted hate which you guessed it right i rated that book a one star because i just didn't think the characters were perfect for each other they were perfect as in the sense they were so unlikable and so dependent on each other that i think they were meant to be <laughs> but I just didn't connect with them and the thing that went down was so bad so I can't ignore that although some of the quotes I really liked in this book and there was Alex which we saw more of in this book and friend group the girly friend group was so amazing like how they gossip they chatter they make time for each other because all of them have separate lives and relationships so I loved this thing about this book so that is why 
one star rating anyways this is all i had for you guys today i know it was a long vlog and if you are still here then thank you for watching i'll see you guys in my next video until then goodbye